if you grew up in an environment where there were lots of gun, where allow, the probability, the base rate of a loud bang being a gunshot was very high, then when you move to a new environment, it's perfectly rational, perfectly rational to predict that those loud bangs are gunshots. The thing is that when you move to a new environment, what you have to do is forage for information to tune your predictions to we you know scientists call it your internal model your your brain is running a model of your body in the world and you have to update that model and that means learning new stuff but if you're metabolically encumbered if you have a lot of stress in your life if you actually have a metabolic problem in your body you will have a hard time learning new stuff. You'll have a hard time updating that model. And so again, I would say it's not because people lack the will, you know, it's because there's something interfering with their ability to learn. And that's the important thing to focus on. So we've heard the phrase, can't teach an old dog new tricks. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. It just takes a lot of energy. What does neuroscience say for us to actually rewire these pathways if, if we've grown up in these environments or had certain patterns of behavior that have been attuned to the environment we were in previously? Well, I think learning is like driving, really. You're just, it's like learning any skill. You have to give a lot of energy and effort at the beginning, and then eventually, over with time, stuff becomes pretty automatic. So if you grew up in an environment, I mean, you, you're not responsible Here's the sucky thing about the way things are with the brain. You're not responsible for the world that was curated for you as a child. It's not your fault. And it's not your responsibility as a child. You know, other people, adults who take care of you or don't, are curating a world for you and your brain is wiring itself to that world. But here's the sucky bit. As an adult, it may not be your fault. You may not be culpable for the wiring that you have, but you are responsible for it. And the reason why you are is because nobody else can change it but you. And that feels unfair and it is unfair, but it's also the way things are. And also I would say, you know, it's very easy for me as a scientist to say, oh, well, you just have to curate new experiences for yourself. You just have to expose yourself to new information. You just have to practice, you know, but a lot of people don't. I mean, I grew up in poverty and I know how hard it is to claw your way out of it. And I have to, even though, you know, I mean, and I'm, I'm a woman, so that was a mark against me, <laughs> um, you know, but I'm also in this country, you would call me white. So that was a benefit. So, you know, I had some advantages and, but people, a lot of people don't have a lot of choice in their lives. But I guess what I'm trying to suggest to people is that even though none of us have as much choice or very few of us have as much choice as we'd like or want, we all have more control than we think we do. And that means that it's not as easy to change that wiring as you know we're making it sound. It's actually pretty bloody hard, but it's like any kind of skill you have to invest a lot of energy, practice a lot, and then eventually, it be, like driving, you know, it becomes pretty automatic, but it takes a while. And sometimes it feels bad because, you know, think about when you're exercising. So, you know, for me, I'm about, maybe it takes me, I get to about 20 minutes into a workout and then I'm feeling not, like, I just want to stop. I'm not feeling good. I'm not one of these people who, you know, has a runner's high or whatever. I've never been that person. I wish I was that person, but I am not that person. I'm the person who wants to stop. I'm the person who doesn't even want to run to begin with, okay? But I know that sometimes feeling bad doesn't mean that something's wrong. It just means you're doing something hard. <laughs> right? So I think about, you know, the Marines, right? You know, pain is weakness leaving the body, right? I love that phrase. I love that saying because it's really, you know, you're doing something hard. It feels like shit, but you have to push through it. And in the end, you will be stronger and healthier for it. And it's the same thing about, you know, retraining your brain, so to speak. You know, when you're learning something new and you're learning a new skill, it sometimes doesn't feel bad. It doesn't sometimes feel good. It can feel bad, but it doesn't mean that you're doing the wrong thing necessarily. It doesn't mean something's wrong in the world. It just means you're doing something hard. Yeah.